Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the entire month of March content that is upcoming, guys. I used to do this video a lot. Haven't done it in a while. I don't know why I stopped doing it. I guess I missed the uh, first day of the month sometimes. And at that point, I just forget to do it. But I'm going to be going over the March upcoming content review. Or a preview, I should say. Not review. Review would be post. But, um, yeah, last year, guys, in March, we did have a banger month. March was a great month for content. Now, I actually wasn't home uh, for a mid-portion of March. If you guys do remember, I took a trip. I was at uh, Zerk's house, uh, you know, where he lives. Not going not, not, not gonna to disclose exactly. But point is, I was down there. So I actually did miss a lot of March. And March was a great month. Of course, the week I was gone was the exact week. We got, like, two or three different things. I'm going to be going over all of it, though, guys. So before we get into today's video, a few announcements. First. We did switch our coin sponsor, guys. Nothing wrong with the other guys. Still great people and everything, but we did switch to a new coin sponsor, just to let you guys know. As you guys saw by the intro, Mutt Coin Bank. Now, Mutt Coin Bank, I highly recommend you guys to take a look at it. Cheapest coins on the internet. You guys have to go check it out. You can get a million coins with my coupon code for, I think, uh, like 50 bucks. Give or take, depending on your console, you can get a million coins for between 15 and 60 bucks. I, I forget the exact numbers. You have to check. You know, things change daily and everything, but... Go check it out. Use my code for an additional 5% off. Definitely check it out, guys. Great site. Great people. Anyways, moving on. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. Turn the noti bell. Always like the video and comment down below. The link to the new site will be down below in the description as well. Should be updated by the time you're seeing this video. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, like I said, subscribe. But let's get into the video, guys. We do have a few things to go over. Now, let's take you guys over to the stuff to show you because we have a few things that we do have coming out this month now. Fortunately, no combine promo, which I did get the update on. Oh, uh, that's, that's that's a shame. Super lazy, super uninnovative. I, I cannot believe that they said the all rookie promo is why they can't do a combine promo. There's no relevance. There's no correlation to a all rookie promo, all the best rookies of this year, to a combine promo which showcases next year's uh you know next year's players or past performances. Right? Doesn't make sense. Hopefully we still get the draft promo. Right? I hope they don't say the draft promo is gone because this year's rookies, you know, replaced that. But an all-rookie promo, right? All-rookie promo shows us current rookies, and not all of them are that great, right? If you want, if you really want to look at them, like, they gave us guys, like, even if they they may have had a decent season, they may have just started, right? The combine promo literally gives us, like, Deion, uh, Deion Sanders, Leon Sandcastle, Odell Beckham, you know, Alvin Kamara, Cooper, like, all these cool guys, and we didn't get any of them. Very, very shameful. I cannot believe that the excuse was that we had an all-rookie promo. I would have taken the combine promo all day over the all-rookie promo, but I mean, it's still cool. But... I'm tired of them saying that, you know, oh, we gave you this cool new promo. Like, oh, cool. Thank you so much for showing us an all-rookie promo. And then instead what they do is, oh, we took away Stay Put'em Up, which was the combine promo. Not a fan of it at all. But let's go on over to the stuff that we can't control and the stuff that we do expect to be coming out. So let's go check that out. First, guys, we have golden tickets. Now, if you guys do remember from last year, golden tickets did make a return. Now, last year, golden tickets came out. Like, we had, not that they were out, but the, uh, the solos actually have a chance at getting the ticket and all that stuff actually started in the first week and a half of March. So we can expect maybe this pretty soon, maybe push back to mid-March. But again, I think March This is when they did it last year. Now, I don't know the format. Now, in years past, you had to open up a bunch of packs and hope you pulled it out of it. Um, you know, last year, I think you played a limited time solo and just hope you got it out of it. I don't know how they'll do it. They'll probably opt for the money route. Maybe they'll go with the solo route again. I don't really know. If you guys didn't know, Golden Tickets is one of the coolest things in Madden. Essentially, if you guys don't know, if you guys have ever watched, uh, you know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Willy Wonka, remember you open the chocolate bars. If you're one of lucky out of millions of five people to get the bar, you get to go to the factory, right? Uh, with, the, with the golden ticket. Same thing here. You get the golden ticket and you're essentially able to create any player in Madden. Yes, any player. So, yes, you could take Julio Jones and make him a beast. Or you can take, as you know, the, the usual meme goes, Nathan Peterman and you can make him an end overall. I don't believe there's many restrictions to it. Now, they could make it so that it has to be at least a guy who's had a base elite. They could make it so it has to be a guy that has a power up. They could do a few things with it. I don't know what route they will take uh, in terms of restrictions, but there, there usually isn't many. You could make a Tim Tebow because he got the Campus Hero card. Uh, you cannot make players who are not in the game anymore. So if they weren't in the game this year, you cannot make them. You have to make someone that was in the game. So by them introducing Tim Tebow, yes, you could make a 99 overall Campus Hero card art Tim Tebow, which would be super cool. You could make a Cam Newton. You could make a Vic RG3. Um, anyone, Lamar Jackson, Brian Burns, these are all the ones from last year that we did, that people did pick. So each and every one here was handpicked. So yes, oh, actually not all of them, sorry. Most of them were. So EA actually did drop like with every release, like one of their own. I believe it was so, like, let's say someone did Lamar Jackson, someone did Brian Burns. EA would drop Muhammad Sanu as the third guy and that was their pick, right? 
They're all 99 overalls. They're all super great. You guys know the deal with them. But, but, of course, EA did make their own, which is kind of, was kind of annoying for some of them because I'd rather than giving us just, just giving us more tickets, right? Instead of letting the devs create a few. I mean, I think Anthony Barr was EA created. I think there was a few here that were EA created. Quincy and Nunwa. Like, no one really wanted that one, right? Uh, Cravon LeBlanc was user created. RG3 was user created. Bo Jackson, of course. But yeah, guys, these are some great cards. Now, who would I create? Again, I would make that I'll make that in a separate video. I'll go over a few guys that I would create if I got a golden ticket. But one guy that I would have liked, again, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know, you know, if they'll do it again. I would love to see RG3 again. I love RG3 cards. They didn't make this card that great, though. Uh, they made the medium really bad. I really wish that was higher. And again, we're thresholds now. It doesn't really matter. But I love RG3 in a Redskins jersey. Adrian Peterson in the Vikings jersey. Of course, they made him Redskins here, which I did not like. They should have given him Vikings card art. Um, they didn't get to choose that, though, of course, right? That's just what's in the game. The point is, golden tickets, if they do end up coming soon, guys, be ready for that. Be ready. Could be like an hour limited time solos. Just play them and hopefully get one. That's crazy. Golden tickets are crazy. Again, I don't know. I know that um, Zerk actually helped make, I think, Zach Gentry. I think Julio Jones. Um, maybe Lamar Jackson. And he made one that actually people were very upset about. I'm not remembering. Oh, Cam Newton. Apparently, he ruined Cam Newton. That was that was the ongoing joke with, uh, with Golden Tickets. But anyways, besides the point, super cool. Golden Tickets should be coming within the next week and a half. Or not, not, not that they'll be here. Because remember, they didn't actually come out when they dropped. It was just a ticket. And then you had like a few weeks to actually, you know, submit your card. And then, you know, so on and so forth. What's actually coming out. Reveals, whatever. I don't know when it'll actually come out. But I hope that we do get word of this within the next week and a half, more than likely. If not, they may not be doing it again. But I hope they do. I'm moving on from that, guys. The next thing is going to be the free agency promo, which actually did drop. Now, this one I remember specifically. I was driving back from Zerk's house back to mine, which is pretty far away. Um, I was driving back, and mid-drive, this actually did end up dropping. So, I would say it was, like, sometime between uh, March 16th-ish, March 20th, right around there. So, I know that for a fact. That's when it dropped last year. So, I'm hoping we get similar timelines for free agency. Now, me personally, guys, I don't know the exact specifics of who's free agents in the NFL. Like, at this moment in my head, I'm not entirely sure. So, I don't know who we're going to get. But I do know there's probably a few good ones. I know there's a few good quarterbacks, right? There's a few different quarterback situations in the NFL. Um, again, not, not many of them became free agents. So like, Carson Wentz was traded, right? Um, Deshaun Watson wants to be traded. So, those are just quarterback situations. I don't know, you know, for free in terms of free agency, I don't know if it will be considered. Obviously, it will be considered a player. So, I don't really know the specifics of who's going to be getting what car. But like I said... Once we get close to the free agency and we know who's like testing the market, we'll pretty much know. Now, again, they could just resign. I think they could still get a card if they just resign, right? If they have, you know, if, if they end up staying like as a free agent at when they make the promo and they come back to the team, they can still get a card. As long as they probably, I guess, if they didn't resign beforehand. But just some options from last year Davion Clowney. He took a while to, uh, you know, actually declare. Joe Thune, Byron Jones, who actually went to the Dolphins. Tom Brady, who ended up going to the, uh, the Buccaneers. Chris Harris Jr. went to the Chargers. Anthony Harris and Dominic Su went to the Buccaneers. And so on and so forth, guys. There was plenty. We have Phillip Rivers, who ended up going to the Colts. Pre pretty pretty large promo. You know, no nothing crazy. A lot of players. Well, a good amount of players, I should say. We had two Masters. We I, No, we had four Masters. Sorry. We had 498 overall Masters with a bunch of heroes. So definitely was a cool promo. Definitely. It was some pretty cool card art as well. But for the month of this month, it usually is the Combine promo. The NFL. Oh, sorry comment promo for agency promo and golden tickets and borderline pushing the end of the month is easter color smash which usually uh, fall, falls over into april obviously but we usually have word of it by the end of uh like the tippy end of march but this year we will not be getting a combine promo so you can count that out so for the most part we're expecting free agency and we're expecting golden tickets now i'm super hyped for golden tickets guys like i said will i pull one absolutely not will i try no will you guys get one yes and if you do get one guys and you want to be in contact with me or Zerk or someone to help you create it, do hit my DMs on Twitter or comment down below. Get in contact with me. I'll get you in contact with Zerk and we will help, you know, as a collective group. I'll take my little commissioner fee for bringing him over and uh, we will we'll get to work on that. So just let me know down below. Of course, like I said, I have a direct line. So if you guys need help, I can get you right to there. So just let me know. And uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Hopefully, you know, they give us word on that soon. I really hope they don't pull some crap and say like, oh, you know, we're, uh, we're giving you a free agency promo this year. So golden tickets weren't possible. Hope that's not the case, but yeah, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notify bell, boys. Come give this video a big thumbs up. And like I said down below, guys, in terms of this coin sponsor, go check them out. I promise you down below, you will not regret it. You will be able to build a God Squad for a quarter of the price of what other prices were before. Check it out. They're super cheap, guys. 
you won't regret it i promise super cheap make sure you use my code as well so you don't get screwed you know so you get the additional discount a little you know every little bit matters right that's about it enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace